Rubin, who officially confirmed as the manager of Reading Football Club. I'm sure you're pleased to be over that hurdle and ready to get to work. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I've been uh, a long week just waiting for the world permission. Final is done and then uh, I'm ready just to take the challenge from the very beginning and start to work immediately and get the very best for this team. Mm, obviously, I'm, I'm sure before kind of committing, you must have spoken to the likes of you know, Mark Bowen and, and Brian Carey about the, the, the challenge that this job presents. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I, I have been uh, analysing the club, what happened the, the last season in terms of football, also off the pitch. Uh, we have been working hard to analyse everything and then for to be ready from the very beginning. We know it's a, it's a big challenge to give the team back uh, in championship, but uh, we need to be ready to go from the very beginning, and that's what we're going to do. What have your first impressions been of, uh, of the club and of the team as well? Well, we have, uh, I think the environment is really good. The facilities are amazing. Uh, it's a top Premier League club, what we have in terms of facilities, uh, persons working around the club, uh, top class, uh, the players from the very beginning embracing uh, the idea. So. I think it has been a good start. We have a very, very talented academy, young players coming in, and then hopefully we can make a very competitive squad. You sort of touched on it already as well, but part of this building, the squad will, will include recruiting players too. And I'm, I guess this is like, is it a kind of collaborative process? People like you and obviously Mark Bowen and Brian, is that the kind of process you're going through at the moment? Yeah, of course, we have an idea of what the team needs to look from now and into the future. And then we need players that uh, can fit the idea, players from our own academy, players that know the competition, players that can give for us that extra points of quality. And uh, we are going to be very basic and very simple. We need people who want to embrace the culture and want to work hard for this football club and we want honest people in the building. We don't want uh, anything uh, different than that. That makes it a little bit hard in the terms of recruitment, but we need to be sure that the correct people is here working and playing for us. I was going to ask exactly that, because I guess managers always have an idea of what they want out of the player, but those kind of cultural aspects and the kind of people who share the same beliefs or ideas, or work. I guess that's going to be important, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Culture should be on place, the standards should be uh, high from the very beginning in terms of off the pitch and on the pitch. And we need to build. Uh, we need to build that from from the day one. And uh, if we do that, we put it in place. We get a strong dressing room, working together, playing as a as a team. I think we have the the half job is on, and then we can move forward and go and win football matches. And in terms of football matches, what's how would you sort of sum up your style? What kind of what would our fans uh, kind of expect to see from one of your teams when when everyone's got the ideas and correct? Well, we want a dynamic style, a team that uh, can play uh, vertical football with uh, speed, with aggression, with intense, uh, intense, with a team that is always organised and trying to, trying to look uh, always very competitive against any opponent. And like, I obviously want to touch on you and your background to kind of to introduce you to our fans. Something I you've had a bit, relatively unconventional background to a lot, compared to a lot of uh, you know managers in England, in the sense that. You, know, you went and, and, and did your studies and you got your pro licence at a young, a young age, 25. I mean, that must have been an amazing experience for you. Yeah, well, uh, my role has been different. Uh, that has been like that. I don't pay that much attention. Uh, I know usually we are talking about former players occupying the 70, 75% of the, of the managerial positions. Uh, I, did it, uh, I did my job, I study, I work it, I play the game. Uh, since I was 25, I've been working in professional football, so that means now I'm 15 years in the working in professional level. And uh, yeah, I just think that uh, I have some advantages uh, because I know almost every level in football. I know the positions, uh, I know how much it costs to make a job, and I think it's an advantage on that. And I try to use the benches to be to be really close to my people, to the people working with me, and uh, just the target always is to try to elevate them, and I think knowing the feelings in every single place of the building that make uh, that give me an advantage. I see, because you've had 15 years of experiences all over Europe and I'm sure you've had some real learning curves and bring all that experience here to, to Reading. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, the most intense experience was last year, of course, here in England. Uh, I, I, I just feel that I have been preparing for the next step every single time. And uh, hopefully all this knowledge and know-how uh, I can put it together here and uh, have a successful period in, in Reading.
Mm. Yeah, that's the thing because football in England has got such a, a an amazing culture. Really, you know, we have fifty one games already in the calendar, or we're going uh, It's quite unique, isn't it, in England? Is that mm. is that a challenge that you uh, embrace? Them? Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, as you say, we have uh, more than fifty games already now in the in the calendar, plus the preparation matches. And uh, yeah, it's challenging, and it's going to be two games per week, almost uh, half of the week. So. We need to be ready for the challenge, we need to put the foundation right now, and that's why we need to start to work already now. And lastly, Ruben, you know, obviously our, you sort of touched on it too, you know, our supporters have had a, a tough few years that seen the club relegated, you know, but they're kind of very passionate, bunch of fans that care very deeply about their football club. What do you kind of overall message to them be at, at, at this stage? Well, I think there's a time to support the team. I know it have been some tough period uh, for all the fans, I, I also feel it myself in, in different circumstances. Uh, I think it's a new beginning. Uh, I think it's, uh, we will have a squad that is going to compete, that hopefully will get the target uh, done this year. And uh, we just need the support. If without the support, we cannot do things. So I hope uh, people is just uh, supporting the, the players and the staff and the club from the very beginning. Hope uh, to see the stadium, uh, if it's not full, it's with a uh, with a good number of fans here supporting us, with noise, uh, uh, just playing like a lesser player number 12. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can build on that.